Hi, Paul. Hi, Ryan. Welcome to the UK. We have spent a few days together traveling throughout the country, and uh -huh. Paul has been lecturing on the benefits of hydrogen and gut health. So for those who haven't been able to catch us live, I wanted to make sure that we get some time together for Paul to give us a little bit of a summary of what he has been talking about. Paul. Yes. Tell us, what's the relationship between hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, and gut health? Gut health. So that's a biggie. Everyone, I think, is suffering from some sort of gut health, whether we call it leaky gut or all these fancy mm -hmm. dancy names for something effectively we the microbiome has been affected so we have wiped out the anaerobic microflora the good bacteria for it and there's many ways that happens through overuse of antibiotics through vaccine injury through pesticides chemicals just a lot of different chemicals and things and foods mm -hmm. can disrupt the gut performance so what we need to understand is our gut is supposed to be producing hydrogen. So the relationship with the gut is the gut is a hydrogen generator. generator. Mm -hmm. And the problem is we've destroyed the gut. And so we're not producing hydrogen. So, so we need what, to supplement. What are the ways of <clears throat> destroying the gut? How can we, what's the perfect way of destroying our gut? Well, the perfect way is eating pesticides mm -hmm. and other chemicals that are in food that disrupt gut function destroy epithelial cells, other, you know, disruption for the gut and the bacteria that's in the gut. We have certain strains of E. coli that are necessary to convert fibers, short-chain fatty acids, medium-chain fatty acids into hydrogen. And the problem is if we're not converting the food and if we're not eating the right kind of mm -hmm. foods. So we need to eat vegetables that have fiber. We need to eat other foods that have fiber and different uh, short-chain fatty acids, so we need to have fat in our foods. Those are the good things to do if we want to help our system have things to convert into hydrogen, but we have to have the right microbiome and the right bacteria living in our gut. And so <clears throat> most people, I would say, not only pesticides, but antibiotics, people that have antibiotics and there's a lot of antibiotic overuse oh, over, yes. over the years. Yes, and people need to understand that if you have a virus, antibiotics aren't going to do anything. Antibiotics and antibacterial is for bacteria infections. But unfortunately, most people are prescribed antibiotics just because they're feeling sick or whatever. But there's never a time to say, wait, is it viral or is it bacterial? Mm -hmm. So once you have disrupted the gut or once you take... An antibiotic, you've got a year to two of hard work to, to build your gut back mm -hmm. up. So I always say to people, what do you think the chance is that you're going to get sick again in that one year period or two year period and have an antibiotic again? And the chance is pretty high because you get on a cycle of just being on an antibiotic cycle every year and a gut destruction cycle every year. And it's unfortunate very unfortunate because your body needs to have your gut performing 60 to 70 percent of your immune system is the integrity of the gut or the performance or the efficiency of gut function so it's just not <coughs> not about healthy diet as such but really about supporting your gut in any way we, what we can we're able right. to yeah food allergy I mean there's so much from a digestive perspective and being able to assimilate nutrition we want to make sure that we have gut. The gut is performing and functioning correctly. And then how we can rebuild or how, how can hydrogen assist us to um, have a healthier gut function? Well, hydrogen, we, we have some studies showing that hydrogen stimulates anaerobic microflora in the gut. So we have had many many people that have dairy issues gluten issues that within two weeks of drinking the water can eat dairy and gluten again which tells you your gut is back functioning at least appropriately to properly assimilate dairy and gluten now we can grow anaerobic microflora pretty fast so we have people that utilize this as a gut recovery mechanism and it works very well mm -hmm. and what are um some other applications, or therapeutic applications of hydrogen? Well, increased energy, increased sports performance, making sure that we don't have fatigue when we're, you know, in a sports 
event or running or whatever we want to do. And that's something that I hear a lot. Um, um, we have a, a lovely customer in Glasgow who runs a Pilates and yoga studio and um, she sent me a message actually a couple of days ago saying thank you so much for introducing me to this water and to hydrogen because I absolutely love it. I have so much energy and I can do so much more. And she's very, very busy studying and teaching and mm. constantly running her business and family. So so um, that definitely fits into what you're describing yeah. as well. Yeah, we have athletes that are pro athletes, amateur athletes, just everyday people that all find the same effect. And what it comes down to is lactate buildup in the muscle. Hydrogen, when used before exercise, will stop or reduce the lactate buildup. So then your muscles don't fatigue, mm -hmm. so you're able to perform longer. So if you want to have more energy and feel better <laughs> and perform better, then uh, then hydrogen might be something that you would like to, you may like to, to add to your daily regime. Mm -hmm. um, one of the favorite studies, or one of the biggies actually now, uh, these days, is diabetes. Yes. How can uh, <coughs> hydrogen benefit diabetes and what are the studies that have been done in terms of um, insulin resistance, resistance mm -hmm. and, and so on? So there are many studies or I should say several studies on diabetes. My favorite my favorite is about lipid and glucose metabolism in type 2 diabetes mellitus and impaired glucose tolerance or IGT. In that study it was a double-blind placebo-controlled human study which is good and it showed not only that 80% of the IGT patients were normalized, so that through an oral glucose tolerance test, they were normalized during the eight-week study. And that's quite a fantastic <clears throat> result. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that in my, you know, with, mm -hmm. with patients as well. But the reality is, beyond that, they had cholesterol levels decreasing by 15.5%, you know, Oxidized LDL, free fatty acids, adiponectin, superoxide dismutase, or sod activity. A lot of different things were changing in the blood, mm -hmm. which means, simply, when you're reducing cholesterol by 15.5%, you're really reducing inflammation in the body. So when you reduce inflammation, you don't need cholesterol, because what people, I think most people don't understand the, the true role of cholesterol, which is a patch for our veins, our blood vessels and veins. If we're starting to have weakness in the veins mm -hmm. and weakness in the vessels, the body uses cholesterol to patch it so that we don't have problems. And that comes from sugar and carbs because sugar and carbs increase inflammation in the body. So instead of eating sugar and carbs, we can go to a more natural diet. That will reduce inflammation as well. But hydrogen, getting hydrogen in the system, will also reduce inflammation mm -hmm. in the body. So th there are multiple things going on. But in that study with diabetes, not only were we showing glucose or blood sugar changes but also cholesterol and overall inflam inflammation changes in the body which is huge fantastic another area of science and studies that that has been carried out is um, the area of neurological conditions mm -hmm. what are the most significant studies done on that and how can people benefit from hydrogen again who may be suffering from Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, decreased cognitive function, and maybe some inflammation in the, in the brain, such as autism, mm -hmm. bipolar, mm -hmm. and, and so on. What would be? Yeah. <coughs> what so, would be our input? Yeah, all those things you mentioned, there are good studies. So <clears throat> there are multiple studies. There are a couple really good studies just on neurologic benefits in general. Then there are a couple studies that cite Parkinson's, Alzheimer's specifically. Then we have studies on a, a, you know, autism. Then we have studies on bipolar and schizophrenia. So we're talking about six studies in that category, which is good for us to understand. <clears throat> now, we need to understand that oxidative stress is what causes, is the number one cause of all disease, is oxidative stress and inflammation. So the reason hydrogen helps with 170 human disease models is because we're reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. Or at least that's what the studies show hydrogen is doing. So first of all, what's the mechanism? How does that actually happen? When hydrogen gas is dissolved in water and we drink it and it gets into our stomach, then when it's in the stomach, it stimulates gastric ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hunger hormone 
mm -hmm. that works in concert with leptin. And it's all about fat storing and energy, but the ghrelin part of things is the hunger hormone, which will go to the hippocampus, hypothalamus, and brain stem and increase cognitive function, balance the brain, cause the brain to function better. And so right away when drinking the water, which has dissolved hydrogen in it, you're going to stimulate ghrelin secretions, which then goes to the, to the brain. Now, <clears throat> it also goes all over the body because ghrelin secretions affect many different organs in the body, from liver to kidneys to you name it mm -hmm. in the body. So I think when you're hungry, a lot of stuff is stimulated, right? So ghrelin has that effect on the body, but specifically talking about cognitive or, or brain function, which is what you asked, it increases cognitive function and it balances brain in general. So we have observed, or I have observed, individuals with Parkinson's that have tremors. Their hands are shaking. And within 20 minutes, their hand is almost still. That's tremendous benefits. And they'll say that in their brain, they're feeling tingling going on in the brain. And about an hour later, down in their feet. So these are stimulations that are happening because the hydrogen is stimulating ghrelin. Ghrelin goes into the brain and does it. So it's not directly hydrogen, but hydrogen stimulates systems that then begin to function in the body. And just further testifies to us the importance of hydrogen in the body, which is why the creator of our bodies caused a hydrogen generator, which is we call our gut or our intestinal tract, but we're supposed to be developing or having hydrogen produced because of the food we're partaking of, right? So it's a natural process that should be happening, and when individuals don't have that process, then they're missing out on all mm -hmm. these neurologic benefits that are normal regulation of the body's systems. So. We don't say that hydrogen really does anything other than help the body do what it was created to do. And if your body's no longer producing hydrogen the way it should, then we can supplement with hydrogen and get the body because it can help the gut restore and produce hydrogen. So it's a really beautiful process. And it's a very ingenious design, I'd say. Yeah. The other thing I would say, in addition to Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, we talked about bipolar and schizophrenia. but even before you get to bipolar and schizophrenia, because those are pretty serious. But those are all actually, they're, they have all connection to our gut health, Absolutely. even the neurological conditions. Absolutely. Toxicity overload and so on. So, yes. So it works really well yes. on both levels. Yes. We can also add anxiety and depression, because you're going to have anxiety and depression before mm. many times you get to these significant issues in the brain. But a lot of people experience anxiety and depression in large or small amounts on a daily basis, hydrogen can also help them. Mm -hmm. And if someone is watching who may have a naturopathic practice, we were lecturing in Edinburgh the other day to the Association of Naturopathic Practitioners, or Paul was lecturing, <laughs> um, and um, you mentioned in the lecture as well how could practitioners who um, are accredited in nutrition, nutritional studies, naturopathy, and so on, um, how can they implement hydrogen in their practice and what's your experience? You have a number of practitioners all over the world um, and especially in the US mm -hmm. uh, from chiropractors to naturopaths to mm -hmm. physios uh, to clinics, private doctors, private clinics, you have cancer clinics um, yes. in Mexico who are using hydrogen US, Mexico, in, all over. In, in, mm -hmm. the, in their therapy right. with patients. How could people in the UK and Europe and professionals in UK and Europe benefit from hydrogen in their practice? That's a good question. Thank you. <clears throat> and we would love all the practitioners to help their patients and clients heal with hydrogen. We would love that. Um, but how to do that is quite simple. We have a program designed for practitioners so that they don't have to carry a lot of inventory. They don't need to buy and resell. They just need to educate their patients, and we call that our sales agent program, where they can join for free to become a sales agent. They would purchase a, a system, an ecosystem for their office, so they can introduce their patients and clients to the water and the benefits of the hydrogen. And after that, any patient or client that's purchasing a system, the practitioner receives a commission from us, and it's automated. It's direct deposited into their account. And all the shipping is no charge. So when they would process these orders 
through the system that we provide for them at no charge. All they do is log in, process an order, it's all done for them, and then the machine is shipped at no charge to the customer. It'll get to the UK in two days. So some people are excited mm -hmm. about how fast that mm -hmm. is. And then also we're, we're developing, we, we have a whole installation network in the US, hundreds of installers in the US, Canada, parts of Germany. We're going to increase that in the UK as we grow in the major cities and then we'll fit in or fill in after that. But we would definitely invite all practitioners, all individuals who are wanting to help people heal to join this program at no charge and begin educating their patients or clients on the benefits of hydrogen because again we have 700 studies showing therapeutic effects on 170 human disease models everything their patients or clients are dealing with and struggling with can be helped with hydrogen because again we're talking about gut issues so most people and dehydration as well and dehydration that's exactly right so we can help them hydrate and we can help them get hydrogen in their system so there will be really no one that won't benefit from this so we we would love to have more and more practitioners coming in in uk and continue to help the people heal here if you would like some more information on that uh, get in touch with us myself or paul and we'll mm -hmm. be very uh, happy to help you and I will leave a link um, above or under the video um, for you to be able to get in touch with us directly. Thank you, Paul. Mm -hmm. Thank you.